Good evening and welcome to your Sunday evening sports news here on NBC One. My name is Dominic Mashekele. Here are your headlines for tonight. Coach Bota optimistic about the team's chances. Richly Eagles versus Netherlands match called off due to rain. Stay tuned for the details. And on to cricket action now, the Richley Eagles final match against the Netherlands in the T20I Triangular Series was rained out at the TU Cricket Grounds in Nepal. In today's match, the Netherlands won the toss and sent the Richley Eagles to bat first. By the 10th over, the Richley Eagles were 59 runs on the scoreboard for the loss of three wickets. Play was interrupted by rain in the 15th over, with the Richley Eagles 98 for the loss of four wickets. With the rain having the final say, the game was called a no result. Today, the Ridgely Eagles target to get back to winning ways after suffering back-to-back -back defeats against Nepal by three runs on Tuesday and the Netherlands by 56 runs on Thursday. With today's game called off, the Ridgely Eagles ended the triangular series third on three points, with the Netherlands topping the standings with five points and Nepal second on four points. The Netherlands will now play Nepal in the final game of the series. Moving on, athletics coach Henk Bota says he's optimistic about Namibia's chances at the 13th edition of the All-African Games in Accra, Ghana on the 8th of this month. Renowned athletics coach Henk Bota has been busy at work with the athletes in preparation for the upcoming continental and international competition slated for this year. The athletes are expected to represent Namibia first in the All-African Games in Ghana from the 8th to the 23rd of March before heading to Paris in France for the Summer Olympic Games in July. As far as the African Games is concerned, I think for my one athlete that I have, it's just um, uh, experience and, and obviously um, the proudness of co uh, competing for his, his country. Um, my other athletes, we are working very hard to, to try and prepare for a season where especially Elton and Christine can qualify for, for Paris. And then from there on, uh, um, get back into the international scene where we can run some international races and um, obviously make them a bit proud. Unfortunately, we have withdrawn uh, my other athlete with the 400 meter, Elton Husep, and uh, obviously Christine is not uh, legible to run yet. Um, but, but yes, we, we believe that the team will do good. It's just a pity that we also see that other countries have withdrawn all their top athletes from, from the African Games, uh, um, especially with athletics, and, and that might make it not as good competition as we hope for on the African continent. Representing the country in Ghana will be short putter Kunakin. Both are also shared more light on how the climate in Ghana can play out in their favour. Few people actually realize that we in Namibia have got the best uh, conditions um, to train in with our um, high altitude. That means we have less um, oxygen in our air. So whenever we go to countries like Ghana itself, where we are closer to sea level, it's so easy to climatize and there's not a big time, time difference. So I'm sure the guys will just perform excellently there and, and we'll see good times. Team Namibia for the All-African Games leaves tomorrow afternoon. And in school sports, pardon me, in school sports, the Ukule Secondary School hosted its first 2024 annual sport tournament this weekend with various schools from other regions coming to test their students' skills in three sport codes. Sport producer Erickson Tapiso with more. It was a flurry of sports activities at the Ukula Secondary School sports field where volleyball, netball and soccer were contested by the host school and several schools from various regions. Among the three sports codes, football drew the most attention and spectators from Onyanya constituency and surrounding areas. The school's tournament aims to raise funds for renovations and other necessary needs the school faces, who expressed his delight at the turnout of the various schools and the experience. I would like to thank NBC for coming and... Uh cover our sport event. It's an annual event, a very important event on our school calendar. Oh, um, and uh, on the other note, um, Ukule is, a, is more than 29 or 30 years. So we do this each and every year. Meanwhile, at the same venue, NBC also spoke to the head of the science department, Kenneth Nengo, who mentioned that sports is also a vital component in a student's school life 
as not all students succeed academically and sports can be an excellent alternative. This tournament is very important because uh, we have here at Ukule or generally in school we try to develop children holistically that is beyond the classroom uh, because some children they, uh, they excel in other fields not just academically but they are good in other things so sports is very important in that aspect it also uh, uh, instills a, a sense of camaraderie in the children and the children get to know each other and the network and all that the match between Ukula Secondary School and Okankolo Combined School was the most anticipated match of the school tournament as it gave the host football team a chance to show their visitors their skills. In the end, neither team was able to score and the match ended in a draw, proceeding to penalties where Okankolo beat Ukule 4-3 in an exciting penalty shootout. Lastly, we also spoke to a Kankolo Combined School coach, Mongwa Simpson, who shed more light on the just-ended football match. We played to Kule. This is the third time we are playing them. We played them in Ekulo. We defeated them 3-1. Then we played them in uh, Nehari tournament. We draw 0-0. And they defeated us on penalties. So we started with training the first week that school has started. Then we've decided every day we have to take penalties. So in case we happen to draw, and then we should make sure that we convert our penalties. Then we just make sure that at least we save one. And then we should be able to take it from there. Talent there is, is not that uh, there. So we are getting boys from deep in the bushes. So our strategy is to make sure that we don't let the opponent to play. We make sure that we put the balls wide so that we should not let them to play in the midfield. So we don't play uh, too much of the balls in our half. So we make sure that the balls should be played on their half. And we make them longer. We should not let them to control the ball so that they, do, they should not dictate the tempo of the game. It should be upon us. Now, young table tennis players registered with the Namibia Table Tennis Association aspire to be one of the best in the country. They said this at the Table Tennis Open hosted at the Erfenes Kaltir Centre Hall yesterday. Table tennis is one of the school sports on the rise in the capital. For the past two years, its development plan has been centered in schools around Katitura. It aims to groom school-going children to become tennis superstars, keep them healthy and away from unproductive practices. In so doing, a tennis open day will be hosted every weekend for the children to get more game time. At the very first table tennis open day this year, the players expressed that their ambition is to reach greater heights. I want to achieve to go to the World Cup one day, but this year I'm aiming to play for Africa for the Junior World Cup. Otherwise, it's not much to say, it's just aim to be the best. I want to play in the Africans. African table tennis so that I can be on top of the, on the leaderboard. I would like um, to be the best player ever and to train also some people that don't. According to the Namibia Table Tennis Association Development Officer, Theo Biekers, these youngsters have potential to become who they aspire to be, hinting that they keep improving every single day. They've got lots of potentials. So we are practicing to select our national team, so they are also it's part of their training to, to go for trials. And then there's some exciting future that's here as well, like Esther Shatika, and they are coming from different schools. So it's going to be a great year. And then there's more that we hope to see soon. Biekes urged parents to register their children with the association as he believes that the sport is pivotal in building their intellectual capacity. The players train at the Erfinis Kaltil Centrum in town from Mondays to Thursdays at 1400 hours. Nicholas Theremo, NBC Sport News, Ventuk. Well, we've come to the end of tonight's news. Remember that you can like us on Facebook at NBC Sport or tweet us at Sport NBC and be part of the discussion. Also, check out our question of the day and share with us your valuable comments. You can also visit our website or YouTube channel for more information. Don't forget to check out NBC Plus by downloading the app on Android or go to nbcplus.na on iOS and take us with you. From me, Dominique Mashikele and the rest of the crew, it's goodbye for now. Have a blessed week ahead.